Nice fencing. That's what we want to see. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, Erdy Gertie. What do you do when your pregnant sow jumps over your brand new improved fence? and hunts out the rest of the drove. For us, it means not ducking down to the hardware to pick out some nice posts to make a bigger and better fence. For us, it means chopping down diseased trees, transporting them back, digging them into the ground. Pull down 400 to go. <laughs> there is always some other fun and games taking up our time. Yeah, go on, this is our fair exchange for our freedom, living a life we love. Well, even her new piglets are all healthy and happy. But our problems with Gertie, jumping in with these guys and hunting them way out of the pen. The nursery is quite confined, so we need to expand the fencing to give even Gertie a little bit more space so Erdie stops pushing the other pigs out. There is enough space for everyone, and if we don't do something soon, Gertie's either going to hurt herself jumping fences while heavily pregnant, or the rest of the pigs will simply run away completely. And now our much needed rain decides to make its appearance and we've got a boggy mess. Thankfully, our piglets are warm and dry and Erdy Gertie has a nest. We might have another batch of piglets tomorrow. We really need to get this fencing done, but right now there are some mother critters demanding our attention. Getting this uh, cleaned out for the sheep for Christmas. Bloody sheep. Better. Now for the next pest. I've just seen all this polystyrene in Mocker's shed. I've looked up and saw a tail and then a foot and then a hairy face. What are you looking at? Well, I saw this tail and I thought it was a dead snake. Pull it. It's a rat. <laughs> <laughs> Better rat proof the feed bin then. Yeah. Job done. We better check on those pigs. Nice fencing. That's what we want to see. So tomorrow, Eddie, I promise you, you can have a lot more space. Girl, you're staying in now, aren't you? Look at this beautiful fencing. Hey, that's keeping you in, isn't it? Big storm coming. Hey, piggy pigs. Ready for dinner? Are you ready for dinner? So. She can't shoo you off now, can she, piggy pigs? Hey? Here comes the food van. Can you hear it? Can you hear the food van? Here comes the ice cream man. No, you stay in here. Yeah, you've got to stay in here. Another gone shot. That's what happens to wild pigs if they get out, so you need to stay in. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, Erdy Gertie. Okay, that's the final straw. We need to go find some trees now. That's all ours. The good thing about um, these trees that are diseased, yeah. deceased, and they've been there a while, we don't have to debark them. Yeah, true. Nature does it for us. Man always had stories about the city life and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Maybe check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I don't know critter surprises. Cause up here it's
Yeah. Well done, love. You're not awesome. <laughs> See what I mean about it's um when it goes out of its tracks and it wasn't cutting. Yeah. And I saw it when it got in the track, it's like cutting. Yeah. Pardon? The one down further's straight and that one's pretty straight too. Yeah. Actually, we can take it and use it as mulch and uh, for the deck for the yeah. Come back for it. Yeah, and Ernie Gurley might like some of this leafy stuff to nest with. I know the sheep will. Here, everything is understood. That's all right by me. I got everything that I need. The fairies bring me paycheck. What we just there did there was coppices of a fashion. Oh, is that why those logs are called coppers logs? Yes. No, coppers. Oh. As in cops. Well, it's a good haul of posts. Change the dull. Stretch to the sharpen. doing Maggie? Supposed to be eating the grass. Come on. Maggie. Hello. I'm guessing the shower was cold. <laughs> On, Betty. No, we need to stay out. Maggie. Good chuk chuk. Oopsie. Someone wore that. The chickens aren't laying eggs in the chicken tractor. We need to make a beautiful private place for them to lay eggs. First of all, let's cut out the entrance. Now we need to make ventilation for when our beautiful hens are sitting. These pieces of wood should do. I'll just fix them in with a wood screw. There. <laughs> Use a space for an accurate measuring.
Nice nesting material. Right, let's go install their new nesting hotel. When I came this morning, there was one of Go on, Billy. Yeah, I reckon that's it, mate. <laughs> it might go flash pop. <laughs> I hope not. That's how we used to test them in the UK. We'd get a blade of grass, ready to stick on it, and it would like tick on your fingers. So that might even be enough. Is that that height all the way around? They're not going to get under that without touching at any of them, are no. they? So if they're not earth, they won't get anything off that. Only off the ground, and if the ground's really dry, that's the trouble with the sort of the sandy soil. If there's no moisture, it doesn't earth. Mm. That's why you need to run an earthen lead. Yep. And second to that, you need to put decent earthen stakes down every 10 metres, at least four. If we use that electrical tape hooked up to the sculpt wire, that was the grass that did that. <laughs> Well, it works. Just like, look at the name of the... <laughs> ah. We've dragged you inside into our little meeting hub because we have a problem and it's a pig problem that's getting bigger. <laughs> it's a really pig really, problem. Really, really pig problem. It's only getting bigger. <laughs> um, Eve has just given birth to uh, six piglets and... Erdie is about to drop her first litter, so she's a bit stressed. Yeah, they were both served about the same time, so Eve had her litter yesterday, so Erdie Gertie should be going any moment. And we've got Eve's second lot of piglets in the next cell, but what's happening is they've been chased out under the fence, breaking the fence, Erdie's jumping through the fence, and it's just a whole shit bang. Piggy med bedlam. <laughs> so we need to sort it out. So we thought we'd invite you into how we're going to do this, how we're going to film it and document it for you guys. We've already moved and played with the pig cells about four times in the past month. Um, a lot of the, it's a lot of stuff going on with it. Stuff breaking, stuff not working, having to fix stuff, buy new stuff. So that's Eve. So we need a decent wooden stake there, a decent wooden stake there. Mm -hmm and two decent stakes there. Alright, so four, four stakes. stakes? Yeah. Sounds like your dinner. Four stakes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because that's made me hungry. Mm. Chasing Erdy out, Erdy's jumping into there. Mm -hmm. And piglets have been chased out of the whole arena. We're going to put metal, uh, sorry, timber posts through. They'll mm. be strong. We can strain it and put them very close together. Mm -hmm. And let's just Put wire up there close together. Yeah. You right with it? It's 45.5 degrees yeah. and humidity is about 83.976%. Plus. And we're going to check on the pig. We're going to check on Erdy Gertie. Hopefully she's in labour and that should keep her busy and stop her getting out until we can get the fence finished. You're the big kids now. And I must thank Erdie for telling me that my fencing is crap. Yeah. Have you not had any babies yet, Erdie Gertie? Maybe. That's Maggie. Come on, Maggie, here we are. Hey, babe. Yeah. Oh, it's probably, they're probably under the hay. Beer. No, it's just beer. Oh, well, that's right. She loves beer. Well, I'm not feeding this, you came in here with beer? No. <laughs> it's a frenzy. She can't be <laughs> Alcohol is harmful to infants. I get mobbed for more. <laughs> hey, piggy pigs. Might tree and bring your beer down there. Ready to 
Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, I got a new friend. Sort of. Because it was stuck there. Oh. <laughs> Mum. Mum, help me. Oh. Hello, oh, piggy pigs. Hello. Hey, piggy pigs. Hello. Hello, my little piggy pigs. Hello. 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 Hello, bravest piglet. Come over here and have a pat. Come on, piggy pig. Good girl. Here we go. Sorry. All right, on to the fencing. I was just saying that if we went through straight through here, we could put a strainer post here, use that small tree and that large tree. Oh, yeah. And it's kind of got that shallow area in yeah. the creek. Okay, use that then. Divide them up with some more secure fencing. <laughs> that fence worked. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, actually, come back a bit. Yeah. Okay. Still good there? Yeah. Piglets like the fencing so far. Warm up for you. <laughs> so we're going to have a break out of this heat and then continue with the fencing once we cool off a bit. My, what a yummy lunch. Right, Nick, back to it before the pigs escape yet again. There's our line of fencing. Don't put it down in the sun. Summer heat will roast the iron bar, like so when angle. you go to pick it up, it will literally burn your hands. We're lining up the main stay to another fence, which you might see down in a future episode. What size do you want to run through there? All of these? Run through here? Yeah. Yeah. I want a big one through here though. Is that not big enough? No, I'm thinking, what was those big ones we had? Big heavy one. You reckon that one's good or this? This one's, one's pretty heavy duty. Yeah. This is pretty big though, babe. I think that's bigger, but that's probably tighter. And tidier. And tidier. Well, I've got to um, oil it. Yeah. Do you want it in first? Yeah, can do, baby. Bob and Nick's natural oil preserver. Do you think it needs 
it's turning that way. Which way, lovey? Just like, because it's got the bend, so would you have the bend this way or that way? Doesn't See how it's got a bend there? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. I just want about alignment. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, about there. So what's the plan with the existing fence? Are you going to bring it out to meet this post or? Yeah, you're going to have to. So now the string line is up, we can now mark out the post spacing because it's important to look right, right? Even when we're flat out like a lizard drinking, we really need to get this fence up. We still take the time to show our animals our love. Off to get two final posts and then it's electric fence time. measuring stick for the live wires. I had to make a new and improved isolator screwy yinny thing in the Duke. Well, because I broke the bought one. All we have to do is coax the pigs over to the new side with some yummy food. All we've got to do is run out the wire. Easy. Bugger Nick, we forgot one. Right, final stretch. Get it? Final stretch? Oh, never mind.
Now the pigs are happy and well fed, let's hope it stays that way. It's an earth, is it? Yeah. Okay. Looking amazing. Hit the playlist. Go get a wine. Get some snacks. Binge watch. Binge watch. Don't watch that one. No. <laughs> no. It's playlist. Hit the fucking playlist. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, you're gonna love this one. Hit the playlist.